In this section, we will talk about increasing and decreasing intervals. So first off, a function is increasing on an interval if uh, from going left to right, the function is going upwards. If the y values are increasing, then uh, the function is increasing. If the y values are decreasing, then the function is decreasing. And again, if the y values are increasing, then the function is increasing. So we're always reading the graph from left to right, and we're looking at when are the y values increasing and when are the y values decreasing. Now, the, the main thing we have to keep in mind is, is that we are looking for the intervals where the function is increasing, decreasing, and constant. And the interval always refers to the x value. OK, so let's take a look at this function. We want to look at. Uh, over which intervals, so over which x values, is the uh, the graph increasing. So when it asks for the intervals, what we're really asking is over which x values is the graph increasing. Increasing means uh, going left to right. The y values are getting bigger, or the y values are increasing. So going left to right. The graph here is increasing, 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 increasing. And over there, it's not. It stops increasing. But what we're asked for is we're asked for over which interval is this happening. So what we're actually looking for is we're looking for over which values of x is the graph increasing. So the interval always refers to the x values. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to make a little. partition here. So this is where the graph is increasing. Now, what about on, on this left side? Well, the graph is going infinitely low. So on this side, the x's are going to negative infinity. And the graph is increasing all the way up until negative 2. So over which values is the graph increasing? The graph is increasing from x equals negative infinity to x equals negative 2. Now, notice that at negative 2, we have a closed circle. But at the point negative 2, the graph is neither increasing nor decreasing. So for that, we're going to use a parenthesis. So negative 2 is not included in our interval where the graph is increasing, because at that point, the graph is neither increase, increasing nor decreasing. It's a turning point. So the graph is increasing on the x value. So we're looking at over which x values is are the y values going up. So first I looked at. Here, the y values are going up. So I know that that's where my graph is increasing, where it's shaded red. But we're looking at which intervals is that happening on. So in other words, over which x values. So that's happening for the x values of negative infinity all the way until negative 2. All right, now let's, let's take a look at decreasing. Over which intervals is the graph decreasing? So the graph is decreasing, or the y, y values are going down. The y values are decreasing over this interval until that point right there. And then the graph turns again. So the green part, that's where the graph is decreasing. Now, over which intervals is this happening? So what I'm going to do once again is I'm going to say, all right, so it starts decreasing at this point, And it stops decreasing at this point. So it's decreasing in between this, uh, this interval. So what's that interval? That's from negative 2 to positive 2. So when x equals negative 2 all the way to positive 2, the y values are going down. OK, so let me highlight that using uh, a different color. Let's use yellow. So on that interval, the graph is decreasing. OK, so for the decreasing interval, we have from x equals negative 2 to 2, the graph is going down. And again, I'm going to use parentheses on both. Why? Because even though negative 2 and 2 are closed circles, so they're included on the graph, but we are just looking at where's the graph decreasing. And, and at those x values, negative 2 and 2, the graph is neither increasing nor decreasing. So we're going to use uh, parentheses. Now then, look, take a look at what happened. The graph starts increasing again. So over this interval, the graph is once again increasing, which means the y values are going up. Okay, So what's that interval? So what are the x values for that? 
So the x values for that start at 2. So like from 2 to 3, the graph is going up. From 3 to 4, the graph is going up. From 4 to 5, the graph is going up. So from x equals 2 to infinity, so from x equals 2 to infinity, the graph is going to continue to increase. So we already have uh, the intervals where the graph is increasing. So we're going to put union because there are two different intervals where the graph is increasing. And it's increasing again from x equals 2 all the way to infinity. The graph is going up. So a common mistake would be to look at the y values and say, oh, the graph is from negative 16 all the way up. But that's not the case, because whenever we're asked for intervals, we're all, always looking at the x values. So for which x values is the graph increasing? Now, a local maximum is uh, a point x so that this is true. Now, let me simplify this for you. Local it just means around its neighbors, right? So a local maximum is going to be the maximum point around its immediate neighbors. So in other words, the local maximum, this is like a turning point. where the, the graph goes from being increasing to decreasing. So this is a local maximum. Local minimum is an open interval um, where this is true. In other words, the local minimum is also a turning point. But it's a turning point where the graph goes from decreasing to increasing. OK, so a local maximum has this shape, and the local minimum is going to have this shape. Those are both turning points. Minimum is the low, lower one, and the maximum is the, is the higher one. It doesn't necessarily have to be lower and higher. It just has to be where the graph goes from being increasing to decreasing. That'll make a local maximum. And decreasing to increasing, that'll make a local minimum. So we, we, we would say that the local maximum is 16. The value of the, of the point is 16. And where does it happen? It occurs at x equals negative 2. The local minimum is negative 16. And where does it occur? It occurs at x equals to positive 2. OK, so here's an example. First, let's find the local maximum. Local maximum is a turning point where the graph goes from increasing to decreasing. So let's find that turning point which is going to be right there. So the local maximum equals to 3. The actual maximum is going to be the y value. And where does it occur? It occurs at x equals to 0. So the local maximum is 3, and it occurs at x equals to 0. Now let's find the local minima. Minima means there's two of them. So there, there are two turning points. It goes from decreasing to increasing here, and it goes from decreasing to increasing here. So whenever we make a U shape, that gives us a lo our local minimum. So our, our local minimum, one local minimum, is at y equals negative 1. And that occurs when x equals to negative 2. So one local minimum is y equals negative 1, and it, it occurs at x equals negative 2. Another local min is equal to 0, so y, the y value is 0, and it occurs at x equals to 1. All right, now next part. Over which intervals is a function increasing? Now, increasing, it means that when you go from left to right, the y values are going up. The function is going up. So I'm going to highlight that, that part. So the function is increasing here and also here. So over these intervals, oh, sorry. So yeah, so over those intervals, the function is increasing. Now, we have to figure out for which x values is the function increasing. So I'm going to label those. Okay, so the 
function is increasing on this interval. It keeps increasing. So it starts increasing at negative 2, and it increases all the way up until 0. So the function is increasing on the interval negative 2 comma 0. So when x equals negative 2, it starts going up, and it stops when x exits 0. But it's also increasing from this point all the way till infinity. It's just going to keep going and going and going. So it's also increasing on another interval, which is from x equals 1 to infinity. So over here, it also starts to increase. And it increases all the way up, in, up until infinity. Part D says, over which intervals is the graph decreasing? Now, decreasing, it means that the graph is going down, or the y values are getting uh, going down. So the graph is decreasing here, and the graph is decreasing here. Okay, so now visual, visually we know where the graph is decreasing. But for the intervals, we have to find the x values for which this is happening. Okay, so these x values from negative infinity all the way until negative 2, the graph is decreasing. The graph is also decreasing here. Now what are the x values? That's going to be x equals 0 all the way till x equals 1. And then remember that we only use parentheses for increasing and decreasing because the, the turning points uh, over there, the graph is neither increasing nor decreasing, which is why we use uh, parentheses. Okay, let's take a look at one more example, and then we'll do the last one in class. So let's find the local minimum. The local minimum is going to be the turning point where the graph goes from decreasing to increasing. So that's going to be your local minimum. And that looks like it's negative 1, comma, negative 1. So the actual local minimum is equal to negative 1, and it occurs at x equals negative 1. Because this point right there, that point is negative 1, comma, negative 1. Now let's find the local, uh, and this should say maximum, I'm sorry. Let's find the local maximum. The local maximum is a turning point when the graph goes from increasing to decreasing. So that'll be your local maximum. And that point is the point 1, 1. So the actual local maximum is 1. And where does it occur? It occurs at x equals 1. Next part. Over which interval is the graph increasing? Now, increasing, it means that going left to right, the graph is going up. The y values are going up. So the graph is increasing on that interval right there. And we got to find out what are the intervals, so what are the corresponding x values? Well, the x values for that portion where the graph is increasing, this is negative 1, and this is positive 1. So the graph is increasing on the intervals negative 1, comma, 1. OK, now where is the function decreasing? So decreasing, let's first highlight that portion. Decreasing is when the graph is going downwards. So the graph is going downwards here. And the graph is going downwards here. OK, it's, going, it's decreasing on both of these intervals. So what are those x values? What are those intervals? Well all the way from negative infinity until it hits this point, which is negative 1, the graph goes down, 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 down. When it hits x equals negative 1, the graph stops decreasing. So the graph is going to be decreasing on the interval negative infinity, comma, negative 1. And then it increases between x equals negative 1 to x equals positive 1. But again, from x equals 1 onwards, the graph goes down. So for like from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5. The graph is going to keep going down, 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 down. So the graph is also going to be decreasing from x equals 1 to x equals infinity. Okay, and then the next example we'll do in class.